bounce on your toes, guys. So that your arms go nice and loose. Okay, and down and just circle your arms. Big circles. Big circles. And go backwards. Big circles. <clears throat> and stretch up. Straight up to the ceiling. And lean to the left. And up, lean to the right. And lean back. And forward, fingertips all the way down to the floor. Keep your legs nice and straight, guys. And up we come. Okay, bring one hand between your shoulder blades. Put your elbow in behind your head. And relax. Change the other hand, put the other hand in between your shoulder blades. And put your elbow in behind your head. And relax. Bring one arm across your body. Hook it in by the elbow and stretch. And change arms. And stretch. Okay. Okay, I want you to turn to your left and stretch out into Zenku Tadachi. So push your left knee forward, cover your toes, just pushing out to your left. And then Zenku Tadachi, stretch forward with your right hand as far as you can and push your right hip in. Push it in and stretch. And relax. Bring your left foot in. And now twist your right, put your right foot out to the side, push your knee forward, cover your toes, back straight, making zinkle to dachi. Now push your left hand forward as far as you can, pushing your hip in, pulling your right hand back into your kate. Really push that hip in and stretch. Okay, pull the hand back in and bring the foot back to the center. Okay, take your Take your feet out wide, wide as you can. Bring your hands down to your ankles, head to the center. Take your head to your right knee. Take your head to your left knee. Bring your head to the center. Come up onto your hands. Bring your hands forward. Okay, now push your hips back and bring your head down between your elbows. And come forward again, drop down onto your forearms and walk back on your forearms. Push up onto your hands and just walk your feet in together. Bring them all the way together. So, Okay, so your feet are touching, put your hands around the back of your ankles and pull your head into your knees. Relax, bend your knees. And stand slowly. Okay, bring your right left knee up, catch it, put it into your shoulder, bend your toes up at the same time. Bend your toes back at the same time. And down. Now bring your right knee up. Put it into your shoulder. 
Bend your toes up at the same time. And okay, so loosened up, stretched a bit. Let's see if anybody else is on. Okay, so okay, guys and girls. So we will, we will proceed. So okay, going. Left hand out, right hand on your hip. Okay. Knees and toes forward, so chokofuki punch. Ready? Here we go. Ich, ni, san, chi, go, ru, chi, ha, ka, jo, ich, ni, san, chi, go, ru, chi, ha, ka, jo, eight. Crossover punches. So now take the right hip across, just twist it and punch. Then the left hip, just twist it slightly. Take it across, make sure your toes and knees facing forward. Ready? Right hand punching. Ready? Each, knee, thumb, chi, go, rook, chish, hard, ko, jo, each, knee, thumb, chi, go, rook, chish, hard, ko, jo, eight. Yummy. Eh? Keep it up, chi. Push down, knees and toes forward, tailbone tucked in, squeezy in the thigh, punch into the center. Ready, each, knee, thumb, chi, go, rook, chish, hard, ko, jo, each, knee, thumb, chi, go, rook, chish, hard, ko, jo, eight, and jump. Okay, so, uh, what's the start score? Okay, Sokodachi, someone, okay, mental block for a minute there. Okay, so feet hip width apart, Sokodachi, for this time, RDMP. So all I want you to do, drive your elbow up, like we did the other week, itch, knee, look. Take your head slightly away, by twisting your body, and bring the elbow up to the centre. So you're tucking your hand in behind your head. Then repeat the other side. So we just want to move our head off centre. Okay, we don't want to keep it here and try and squeeze the elbow in. Squeeze it into the centre by just pushing your hip forward. Okay, ready? Right hand first. Ready, each, knee, thumb, chi, go, rook, shish, arch, calf, jaw, each, Knee, thumb, chi, go, rook, shish, hard, ka, jo. Good. Okay, now my washi MP. So this time, try and get this circular feeling so we have a rotation almost pushing the body. Again, it's pushing from the hip just there, and the elbow comes round to the middle. And the fist comes back to this part of your body. If you can shift the hip, right hip forward, and shift the left shoulder back, your fist, as we spoke about the other week, should fit in that gap. If your body's not moving, you're gonna hit yourself. Okay, so we need not to be here, we need to be there just by moving the body slowly, yeah? Do you get that? Good, I hope you do. Okay, so right hand first. Ready, each, knee, thumb, chi, Go, rook, chish, haj, ka, jo, itch, knee, tam, chi, go, rook, chish, haj, ka, jo, eight, and in. Okay, so let's have a look at something else. Let's just check. Anyone else joined us? Really bizarre. Okay. It's all right, the whole thing just went blank then. I wasn't sure what was going on. Okay, so we look at just some little bit of static work at the moment, just to try and get some hip 
hip drive into the punching movement. So we're kind of trying to develop some strength around, around here, around the lower, the lower half of the body. So what I want you to do, I want you to stand in kind of a kibadachi length stance. But try, yeah, make kibadachi. This will be a good, a good place to start for kibadachi. Okay, so we're going to start in kibadachi. So all I want you to do here is um, hands on hip, okay? both hands on your hip, both hands on your hip. And all I want you to do is drive to your left, a bit like we did in the stretch. That's why I did that in the stretch to prepare you for this. Drive from the left, punch, and just as the as the body turns up, as the body turns, punch. So the action you're looking for is open push. So forget the punch. We're looking open push from here. So I'm going to bring my left foot across, punch. Yes. Okay. First move. Ready? Keep it ashy. Okay. Hands on your hips. Ready, itch. Now what I want you to do is pull this hand back, come back to Kibadachi, and this hand punches downwards, here. Boom. So we have the hip pushing in to this position. So we have this crossover punch angle connected with this stretch that we did at the beginning in the warm-up, yes? Okay, so the two things we did in preparation we're now trying to put together and develop the push from the hip here, then the pull back, boom, and this hip bringing that punch into there. Okay, so we're trying to generate the power or and the energy from our hips from the core. Okay, so hands on your hips. Ready to the left, each same time. Knee. Ready again, each knee, each knee. Each, oh, sorry, each knee. So this pulls back to Hikate. Almost like you've grabbed hold of something here, pulling it towards you, boom, and punching it on the way through. And try and punch slight angle downwards rather than outwards. Okay? There's a reason for that. Uh, in the stance that we're in, in uh, Kibadachi, if we put too much forward power here, where I'm pulling back, I'm going to disturb my balance too much and likely to fall over and lose the impact of the hip. By pulling it in ooh, and punching bang, downwards or at an angle, I'm actually utilising the uh, integrity of my stance and uh, of my posture. Okay? So angle it slightly downwards, not all the way down, but like this, okay? Rather than out in front. Okay, so hands on your hips, turn to the left, itch, pull back, knee, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, shish, haj, ka, ja. So one, pull two, nice and strong, yes? So now let's try it the other direction. Hands on your hips, this time the right leg's opening. Left hand punching, left hand pulls, right hand punches downwards in front of you, yes? Angle, go across. So what we're trying to do is squeeze, squeeze everything in there, rather than push it here because our body is too open for this, it's going to tilt. So I'm trying to squeeze everything into that spot there. That's what I'm trying to do is squeeze it all into that spot. Okay, so that's where we're going to be strongest. That's where we're going to get more connection from the middle. Hopefully. Okay, keep it that Hands on your hips. Open to the right. Itch. Pull in. Knee. Ready? Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Good. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Here one more, itch, hey, knee. So at this point here, you should feel, boom, everything locked in. This hip pulled back, this one pulled, pushed in, everything locked in on that point there. Okay? Well, your legs uh, need to be bent in Kibidashi. If your legs are straight, you won't feel it. If your legs are straight, you're going to topple. So if you're feeling yourself 
uh, leaning forward or toppling forward, it could be because your legs are not straight enough. So bend your knees a bit more, squeeze in the middle, move from the hip, and then you hopefully will maintain your balance a little bit more. Again, if you're punching, if you're feeling that you're going forward, it could also be you're punching from your shoulder, leading from your shoulder rather than punching from the hip. So any forward movement is either legs are too straight or you're punching from the shoulder. So try and correct one of those things if you're tipping, or maybe both of them if you're tipping. Okay, ready? So, going back to your left, hands on your hips. Are you ready? Ready, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, thumb, chi, roll, look, sheesh, hodge, car, hey! Hands on your hips. Now we go to the right, so right leg open, left hand punch, keep those knees bent, ready, drive, each, knee, sang, chi, bo, rook, shish, haj, ka, ai, and jimmy. Okay, so I did speed it up a little bit there, okay, felt myself going a bit quicker, so we'll slow it down again guys because I want to try and do it at a pace that you can keep. Obviously when I'm here, I can't judge the pace of the class. I can't judge the pace of what you guys are doing because I can't see. So I'll try and try somewhere in the middle for you. Okay, so we'll do it one more time. Left and then right. Well, I'll slow it down a little bit more. Okay, so hands on hips, moving to the left. Ready, each, knee, tongue. Chi, go, rook, shish, hach, kya, ja. Right side. Ich, ni, sang, chi, go, rook, shish, hach, kya, ja. And Jerry. So on the, the Yakazuki, Movement, feel, feel the full push of the hip. Boom. Then release it back to feel this one driving forward. And then the other side, feel the full push of the hip. So this hip is pushed forward. You've driven all your weight into that hand. Then we've got this action. Look, this is what the body's doing. Load shift okay i can't move this leg until the hikate action has started this one becomes heavy boom that one moves yes if i try and do that with this leg straight then it's just a clog a uh, clock forward so from this yakazuki start the hikate start loading this leg then switch it forward okay so don't just try and step from there to there and punch because it won't, it won't work effectively and all you're doing then is disconnecting from the middle and you're just moving legs independently and wobbling and falling over and all that sort of stuff. Okay? Okay. So I'm falling over, guys, do you think it's funny if someone falls over? If you saw someone in the street, then would you laugh? Because we had a discussion about this the other day. Like, people falling over and we just said how funny, how strange it is when someone falls over. A lot of people laugh, the first thing they do is laugh. Ha <laughs> ha, and then they realise that the person's actually hurt themselves and then they start to worry that the person's hurt and then, oh perhaps I shouldn't have laughed. But it's quite funny, if someone falls over, the first thing most people do is laugh. Um, so yeah, okay, strange. So I hope no one falls over, I won't laugh because I can't see you. Okay, right, so, one more time. So from here, we're going to drive, and this time we're going to just try and collapse that leg a little bit more on the second phase. Ready? So to the left, each. Okay, now push. Start the pull back. Start the pull back there. Knee. Okay. Okay, each. And pull back. Start the pull back. Knee. So once his head, once his leg is loaded, this side of the body can move. Yeah. Ready? Each. Knee. Each. Knee. Each. 
knee, each knee, so load it, um, shift the body back first, then, then start the punch transition. Okay, so we're going to go this side, to the right, ready, each, load, knee, good, ready, each, knee, each, knee, each, knee, each, knee, and one more, each, eight, and two. Okay, so what it is, it's just a simple shift of weight, a simple shift of balance from here, back to here, and then this leg will move. It's the same principle of moving when we're moving in Zenkuzu Dachi. We need to load one leg before the next one can move. We need to put the body weight in the right position so the other leg can move and the body can, can move. So this is all we're doing with this one is we're moving the body back first, leg moves second, hand moves third and catches it all up right at the end. So it's exactly the same feeling, but working in a very close, um, uh, uh, what can I say, area, refined area. So now we're just going to up that a little bit. Let me just check the time, see if I've got time to add this in. I get carried away sometimes with the time. Okay, cool. Yes, we have time. Excellent. Okay, so we're just going to add another little dimension to this. So moving to your left, what I want you to do is now squeeze in. We're going to start in a Hisokodachi, okay, the center of our compass if you like. We're going to drive in, yish, kidabra, knee, yakuzuki, sang, come back to the middle. So we've now made three movements, three hip positions. One, hamni, two, yaku hamni, boom, back to our shomani dachi if you like, but I'll keep a dachi to the middle. Yes? Okay? Yes? First, okay, ready. It's a dachi. Ready? Get number right to your left, hitch. Knee, sun, relax. Ready, pitch, knee, sun, relax. Ready, pitch, knee, sun. Oh look, it's turned into Kagazuki. Kind of punch across, or if you want to, change it to Kagazuki. Hook, hooking across. I know what I was doing this diagonal. But if you want to, change it into a kagazuki, so we're now punching across to bring the fist level with the other hip. Yeah, so the punch comes across here. It's funny, I've just done that without thinking about it. This is what we call intuitive movement. Yes? A physical intelligence, because my body knows that that follows that sequence. My body knows that that's in a, in a, um, a combination that we do, and it does it automatically. So that's a result of... Um, uh, a physical intelligence and intuitive movement, or is it just a consequence of not paying attention to what you were doing in the first place? Uh, I don't know. It could have been. Um, it could have been both. Okay, so here we go. Okay, get down right to your left. Ready? Each knee, sun. Now ah, that's nice and strong. And relax. Ready? Each knee, sun. Do it both ways. It works both ways. A diagonal punched across the body or Kagazuki into this position. They both work, guys. Both have the same effect. Okay? Ready? Itch, knee, sun. And relax. Ready? Itch, knee, sun. And relax. So remember, correct preparation, correct drive, correct drive, correct drive, yeah? Each movement. Correct it. Make sure that your body is in the right position. Make sure the preparation is correct. And then we deliver. Okay? Ready? Here we go. Ready? Itch! Knee! Sun! Relax. Itch! Knee! Sun! Relax. And one more. Itch! Knee! Sun! And relax. Now to your right, guys. Same thing, prepare, drive, punch, and punch. Again, go diagonal, or 
Kagazuki. Okay? Both work. Okay? Remember, shifting weight, driving with our bodies. Okay, Shokudachi, to your right. Ready? Each. Knee. Sun. Relax. Each. Knee. Sun. Relax. Each. Knee. Sun. Relax. Remember, think with your hips, think with your body. Okay? Each. Knee. Sun. And relax. Each. Knee. Sun. Two more. Each. Knee. Sun. Each. Knee. Hey! And then. Us. Okay, you should be getting warm now. I am. Okay, so uh, again, just connecting, shifting weight, working in a small area. Attack, boom, defend. Attack, attack, grab, boom, finish. Okay, so it's all in a very close quarter area. Attack comes in here, we cover it. Yeah, we drive in and attack, we attack it again. As we hit, body moves forward. So we grab hold of the, of the collar or the arm, we pull the body in front of us, boom, and we finish it there. Okay, or we just boom, boom, and throw it to the floor, and remove it, okay? But you're using this action to grab here, and grab here, and boom, and roll the body over in front of you, or remove it, wherever it is there. So it's your shift of weight that's gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna have a quick drink, check the system, then we'll do something else. Ah, okay. Okay, guys. All right. Everything looks okay to me. Just check the time. Go, cool, 36, okay. Right, so now what we're gonna do, I wanna look at, now I'm trying to work on a bit of leg power. Driving your legs forward, yes? Okay, so you just develop a little bit of leg drive. And in, um, in uh, Chukatani, in Karate, when we move, a lot of the time when we move, especially when we move in Zen Kuzudachi, we get this stepping action where we're, oh, it, it looks like sometimes it's just we're going one leg, one like we're walking in long strides, yeah, which kind of, it defeats the object of what we're trying to achieve and um, yeah so what we want to think of is we've got this energy body look going forward body going forward putting the weight over the front leg and then the right leg is the back leg is fired forward yes because the body is providing a trigger for the for the back leg to drive underneath it or the back hand to drive with the body, yeah, the body's going to provide the momentum, okay? And this is all very much pushing off the back leg, because when we go forward, if I'm in left foot stance, think of this, this is a bit, might sound a bit back to front, but my, my front leg now is my left leg, yes? Us. If I push forward, my front leg becomes my back leg. So my left leg is the leg that I'm driving off, so the front leg is the one you have to load. The front leg is the one that you push off, okay? So that's what we're gonna be trying to look at, is building some drive in, in your legs. So all you're gonna need is enough room to make one kind of lunge forward, yes? So if you've got enough room, move away from your telly, try not to lunge into your telly and put your fist through the screen, or knock your laptop off the shelf, or uh, crash through your front room window, or whatever. So you just want to make sure you got enough room to do one lunge forward. And now we're going to do this, okay, we're going to use our back leg to strengthen our back leg. So I just want you to bring your hands up, your front knee up, here in front of you, like this. Try not to lean back and lift it, lift it up and tuck it in, and then push forward off your back leg. So it's like a little hop, yeah? And you should make 
a stance and a half. So what I want you to do, well I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Ugh, it's a bit dusty in here. Okay, so what I want you to do, first of all, is measure, is measure one, come forward, and measure one, one length of your Senkutsudachi, yes? One length of your Senkutsudachi. Then I want to bring your front foot halfway in, yes? So we've now got half a Senkutsudachi. Now push your right, for your back leg, the same distance out. So you're now half, one and a half Zenkutsudachi lengths from where you started, yes? So what the idea is, you are now going to reach past that point that you first created, your, foot, your first full stance, okay? So now bring your left, bring your front knee up, tuck it in, push forward. That's all I want you to do, is just push forward. And your foot should go past that front line, you, first line you created. Okay? So ready? Left knee up, push forward. Okay? Left knee up, push forward. So what I want you to do, drive off the back leg. Left knee up, push forward. Okay, now to make it a little bit more dynamic, when you push off your back leg, push your hips forward as well. Push with your body. Push with the body. Don't keep the body back and let your leg do all the work. Push from the hip. Push from the hip and just add a bit more dimension and see if you can go a bit further. Ready? Left knee up and push. Did you go further? Did it feel better? Okay. Try again. Ready, left knee up, each. So your hips are coming forward now. Your body should be projecting forward with the put. Ready, left knee up, knee. So you make that, well, I'll come right further forward then. I surprised myself. And now, we'll put technique on the end of it. So what we should do now, <coughs> get back to your stance and half length, bring it up, each. And try for them Kizamazuki on the end of it, yes? Okay? Okay, ready? Ready? Each! And again, left knee up. Each! So driving the body, pushing off the back leg, making the distance, whew, making the punch. Okay, we're not jumping, we're driving. If we were jumping, um, uh, we're going upwards, we're, we're kind of leaping forward, driving forward. We don't want to go too high, we want to go boom, in and make, make distance, that's what we want to make. The theory of this is, if you think you are now, there's my first full stance, I come back, stance and a half, I even come a stance away from this, and I'm now, my front foot is now a full metre away, a full metre away from where it was. If I can load this leg, boom, and drive back over a metre, so I can be a metre away from my target, I can bring my leg up to fake a kick, boom, and drive in and score with a punch. Okay? So that's, that's the theory behind it. I'm a metre away, but I can make that metre up by driving off my back leg. Okay? So, see how far you can make with your drive. So I want you to set your furthest line forward that you can drive to. So again, be careful of walls and stuff. So the furthest line forward, and then that's your strike line. Yes? You're going to go, you need to go through that strike line, you need to go past it. So then go uh, a big, the biggest stride you can make back away from it, and that becomes your front line. So take your 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 back foot, mark your front line like this, feet together, take your back foot as far back as you can, yes, then bring your front foot level, yes, then take your right foot back again to there, you've got to make that the first line that you made, yes, with, with, with the push. Shorten your stance a little bit, bring your left knee up, now drive and punch, yeesh! Whoa, did you punch past the line? Fantastic. And again, ready? Knee up, each! Don't lead it with the arm. Let the body push the arm forward. Ready, up, knee, hey! 
And again. Sang! Ei! Ah, Shi! Ei! Ready, up, go! Ei! So now at a different dimension. We've got the load. We've got the push off the back leg. We've got the hips. The hips pushing forward. Now engage the front thigh. In. Front hip pulling a little bit further. So adding a different, uh, just a little extra to it, yes? So we've got drive, push, drive. We've got three elements of drive now. Back leg, hips, front leg. All driving and pulling you forward, yes? So once these legs up, boom, reach with it. Okay? Reach with it. Okay, so get back to your start line. Hands up, shorten your stance, knee out and drive. Yes! And back. Left knee up, ready. Knee, eight. Left knee up, sun, eight. Left knee up, she, eight. And one more, left knee up, go, eight. So now you should be punching over the front line you was in. You may be in a shorter stance than you started. Hold that position, open the stance, hey, and yakuzuki. Okay, so we can now put a third or second technique on the end of it. Okay, we're going to drive, kizamuzuki, yakuzuki. Are you ready? Go back to your start line, hands up, knee up, drive, itch, knee. So itch, land, knee, back, back to your kamai position, yes? Okay. Ready? Knee up. Itch. Knee. And back. And whenever you come back, just load the back leg again like this. Look. Whenever you come back, don't come back with your leg dead straight. Come back with your leg slightly loaded. Like this. Slightly bent. So I can keep it alive. And um, we did some. Did we do some Kumite stuff the other week? Uh, can't remember now. I'm sure we did. And um, whenever you're doing like a Kumite movement, uh, even with cutter movements, keep your stance alive. Yeah? Don't kill it. Don't fixate it. Don't, like Zen Kusudachi, we do, <clears throat> we, once we do Zen Kusudachi, if we did Zen Kusudachi and we did Gidambarai and we did it, <clears throat> we don't hold it there, we relax it. So there's the technique, there's the kimo, then the body should relax. So I've now, relaxed, prepared for the next movement. I've kept my stance alive. I've kept my body alive by relaxing it, yes? And putting it in a position to move. So especially in kata it's important because we need to keep fluid movement in kata. Uh, in kumite it's really important because again, we need to keep fluid movement but we also need to be ready to react. Okay, so whenever you come back, just just in the kumite position we're doing, load the back leg. So you can rock forward and back and shift wherever you need to, yeah? As soon as that leg locks, you're finished, you're fixated, you're a statue, yeah? And statues don't move, okay? The pigeons will land on you. If you become a statue, then you'll be like Nelson in Nelson's column and a pigeon will just land on you. And you know what pigeons do when they land on statues, okay? Okay, don't be a pigeon. Okay, <laughs> there's a philosophy for the day, yeah, don't be a pigeon. <laughs> oh dear, okay. On that note, let's just do a couple more. Okay, so hands up, left leg up, drive, yeesh, knee, and back, and just rock back. Just pull that, as you stretch forward, just close it off. Yakuzuki, just close it off, and come back ready for another one. Yeesh, knee, yeah, okay. So if we were doing a, my work in the dojo, we can keep this going, but we're not. You're in your lounge. Okay? Okay, ready? So, hands up, left leg up, and drive. Yeesh, knee, and back. And just relax. Feel like you're alive, like you've got a bit of spring in the body, yeah? A bit of spring. Okay? Ready? Knee up. Yeesh, knee. And look, nice and relaxed. Legs loaded, body's covered. I'm alive, I'm alert. Yeah? Keeping my body alive. Okay, ready? And again, leg up. Knee. 
Okay? You don't want to spill that. You're not finished. You're never in Kumite. In Kumite, you're never finished until the referee says stop. Yeah, mate. Okay? In Kumite, you're never finished. You'll always be alive, yeah? Um, I learned now on the football pitch when I played football. Uh, and I, I never stopped until that final whistle was blown. And now I kept on and on and on until that final whistle was blown. And I always, always had that attitude is you don't stop until it's time to stop, yeah? Uh, until it's over. You're always, always ready, yes? Okay? Okay, left foot forward. Last one on this side. Bring it here. Itch, knee! And you may. Okay, so we try that on the other side. Just so we're balanced. So again, find your space, mark your distance. Uh, we just have time to do this, that's fantastic. Just got time. Okay, here we go guys. So right foot forward this time. So again, mark your distance, same as you did with your left foot forward. Mark your distance, prepare your stance, bring your knee up, push off the back leg and just drive forward, yes? And just drive forward. When you land, Try not to land on your heel. Because if you land on your heel, on the flat of your foot, guess what? Boom! Your body's moving in behind you, is it not? Yes? So if you put your foot down, oh, your body's gonna tip over that fixed point. So when you land, land on the ball of your foot, so that'll allow your body that movement. So if the target's there, boom! Even if they pull away, boom, you've made the distance, yeah? So when you land, land on the ball of your foot, not your heel, okay? Okay, ready? Hands up, knee up, and push, yeesh! Ready, knee up, knee! Knee up, son! Knee up, chi! So you're still making, you should find, even with the simple push off the back leg, your hand should still break the line of your original mark, your one metre line. Remember, that's what we're looking to break, is this one metre line. I'm one metre away from my opponent, yes? Yeah, they've got to get to me, I've got to get to them. They think they're safe. When he comes up, boom, I drive in. And look, my elbow has now gone over the one metre line, yes? So I'm half a metre into their territory. So even if they back off a quarter of a metre, I still hit them, yes? Because I've, I've managed to get half a metre into their territory, past their guard. Okay, ready? So, hands up, knee up, drive, each. Good. Now I want you to punch, think, or well before we do that, think, drive, hips, pull, yes? So this, this, this front of the leg wants to be doing that. Yes? Okay? Wants to be pulling as well as that's pushing, yes? To give you a bit more momentum. Ready? Hands up. Ready, last one. Each! Boom, good. Right now put the punches on the end of it. We're gonna do Kazamazuki, ready? Load, each, eight! Just Kazamazuki, okay? Again, up, knee, eight! And back, three, turn, eight. And, and when you come back, now let's get used to this. Your yash, just doing your little half steps, half step, half step back. So two, two half start steps back to where you started, yes? So we're gonna make the meter in one lunge, yes? We're gonna make the return journey in two half steps. Yes? So we've returned to our safety zone. Okay, hands up again. Knee up and drive each. Eight. And back. Ready, knee. Eight. And back. Last one, knee up, son. Eight. And back. Again, watch. Back leg is bent, it's never straight. Slightly bent. Okay, keep your stance alive, yes? Okay? Okay, keep it alive, don't let it die. Okay, now do Yakuzuki on the end of that. So we're gonna load, 
drive, drive, then shift back. Okay? Again, low, drive, drive, shift back. Okay? So the shift back is one, two. Yes? So as the front leg comes in, back leg moves back. Boom. Okay? Da -da -da -da. Are you ready? Hands up. Ready. Each! Let me do two counts, sorry. And leg up. Ready. Each! Knee! And back. Leg up. Each! Knee! Again. Be prepared. Be ready. Shift back. You can make the shift back in one, make it in one. Ready? Up. Each! Knee! Shift back. And up. Each! Knee! Shift back. But look where my hands are. Look where my hands are. Squeeze my body in. Squeeze it in. Keeping it tight in the middle. I'm not out here going, come on now, I'm ready for you. I'm here. Okay, how are you going to get in? You got to get past that one or this one? This one or that one? Or I can switch. Yeah, if my hands are out here, there's a big space for them to come into. So I'm also squeezing my body inwards so I'm, I can move quick. If I'm standing in my guard and this hip is open, I can't move quick. If I squeeze it inward, I can move quick and straight. So try and just centre your body in. I almost like squeezing your elbows together so that that hip come in a little bit. So we've got that little bit more squeeze in the centre. Readiness. Okay, ready. Hands up. Ready. Each knee and back and up. Each knee and back and up. Each knee and back. Okay, all one count. Ready. Hands up. Ready. Each eight knee eight. Five one. Ready. Start. Eight. That's a one. Ready. Come up. Okay, you might find your calf muscles start aching a bit now because you're doing a lot of driving, doing a lot of pushing. Okay, when you're in this position doing these kind of moves, stay on the balls of your feet, just lift your heels lightly off. Your heels are going to touch the floor, bounce them back up again. Don't let the heels settle because once your heels boom settle, your body goes uh, and fixes. It's now a statue. Boom, we have to lift it again, make it come alive. Boom, it dies. Because on your heels, you kind of anchor yourself. This is how we should be. Ball of the foot heel, that keeps us, keeps us upright, yes? Stops us falling over. But it also stops us from moving, okay? So if you want to move, just release slightly the pressure off the heel. The heel only has to be uh, a fag paper or a, a tissue paper <laughs> or a thin piece of paper. Uh, an A4 thickness piece of paper off the floor. That's all it needs to be. Okay, just slightly lifted. So now, instantly, you're now connecting with the muscular system and you've got some movement and you, your, 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 your body is alive. It, it can move. Okay? So, just some drills there to practice your leg power. Develop your leg spring. Um, you can develop your leg spring doing this in Kumite, then your movement through your normal techniques and certainly through your cutter will improve okay we've worked on boom boom connection with the hips through the middle so making good boom connection and we've thought about that by changing the weight by not making this backward movement until until we've got the weight shifting back to be able to release the leg and engage the power of the movement into the other hand so it's all about timing Timing those things to work together. Yes, we've heard this a lot in this uh, 11 weeks now, yeah? Timing, yes? Okay? So it's all about finding those little things and timing the movement together. Do it slowly, find the spots you need to spot, and then link them together with timing. Yeah? Don't rush, don't race. Okay? Right, guys. I'm going to leave you with that this morning. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, Thank you for being with us again. This is now, 
I don't know, it's over 60 days. Someone did say how many days it's been um, in lockdown. We are slowly coming out of it. Um, we've got our group sessions, which are absolutely fabulous last week. Uh, we had such great feedback and, um, from people. I was, I was quite emotional a couple of times last week just to see people. And it wasn't the fact that I was doing uh, uh, karate. It was the looks on people's faces when they walked onto the field and they saw other people with them. It was just a sheer look of joy, of happiness, of relief, of excitement on their faces. Uh, juniors as well as children, it was, uh, sorry, <laughs> juniors as well as adults. It was absolutely amazing just to see that in people's faces. So, um, got some more coming next week, so we look out for the weather. The beginning of the week doesn't look too bad. I think Thursday's looking like rain, so uh, we'll just go day by day with, with the weather. I just want to share this with you before we go. Okay, a post come up today, uh, which was a reminder a year ago, we was um, thinking about Muhammad Ali's death. Uh, it was a year of you know, Muhammad Ali's death, and there was, it's his anniversary of his death uh, today. And um, I think it was today or yesterday. And one of the posts that I, I put up from last year was, um, don't count the days, make the days count. And that's one of Ali's sayings. And he, he was a very intelligent man, um, very philosophical man, and he came up with some great phrases, and it made me think about it. And I think I put this on a post. I did put this on a post this morning. For the last eleven weeks, most people have simply been counting the days. Oh, it's another day of lockdown. Oh, how did we get to fifty days of lockdown? And we've been counting the days until lockdown's over and we can go back to our lives again. Well, perhaps, perhaps instead of just counting those days, think about making those days count for you in your life, in your world, for your family. Do something for you, do something positive, make them count, so that when this lockdown period is over, you have something of worth, something of value, something you've done for yourself, something that enriches your life, something that's positive, whether it's for you, for a family member or your friends, that you can say, yeah, I am now ready to do this, I've done this for myself, I haven't just counted the days, I've made those days count for me, or whoever you want it to count for. Okay, and that's pretty much what I've tried to do with our training. I've tried to make those days count for you guys by giving you something positive, some motivation, and so hopefully keep you all going. But I've also tried to make it count for when we come back into the dojo so it's not wasted. So these 11 weeks, what we've managed to create new ideas and new formations of training, uh, that, we, that that's going to make a difference and count from the days going forward. So... Think of that now in the, in the rest of the time with this lockdown period slowly unwinds. Now start to make the days count for you. Don't just count them. Find something, do something that, that's important to you that makes the day worthwhile. It could be something as simple, simple as this. Getting a pot of paint out and painting some doors and skirting. Made my day yesterday. Absolutely, the result was amazing. The, the hallway or the landing is bright, nice and finished. White doors, white frames, yes. I just made that down cake for, for my mood and also for, for the house and for, for the people that live in there. It could be as simple as that, okay? So make the days count, guys. Yes, don't, don't be a day counter. All right, be together and bow. Us. Um, I'll see you next week, okay? There will be a live on Monday. Uh, we've got um, two sessions Monday morning out in the, in the field at Marshland. And so, um, yeah, and I will be releasing the following week's schedule over the weekend. So there will be some more places to book. Anyone got any questions? Then hang on for a few minutes and I'll, um, I'll answer your questions.